What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Joshy P, and I'm back again. I'm talking Philadelphia 76ers, baby. Let's talk Sixers. It is post-draft. Thank you guys all for watching my instant reactions to the first round of the draft. We ended up getting Zaire Smith after we traded uh, Mikhail Bridges to the Suns for the 2021 Miami first round pick and as uh, Zaire Smith. And we picked Landry Shamit in the first round uh, pick 26. And in the second round, we ended up getting Kyrie Thomas, and then we traded him away for two second rounders. And I don't remember exactly what we did with our other second round picks, but I'm really not too worried about that right now. If anything, they'll just be summer league bodies, and if they make the roster, they make the roster, but it's not very likely. Um, but that's not we're not talking about the draft today, boys. We are not talking about the draft. We are talking about Kawhi Leonard. And if the Sixers should be interested, should the Sixers trade for Kawhi Leonard? I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. I'm going to give you guys what makes sense to me, what I know. And if you guys know anything else, please let me know in the comments. Please let me know right now. Do you think the Sixers should trade for Kawhi Leonard or should they wait until he's a free agent next season? Go ahead. Leave a comment right now. Leave a like on the video as well. I really appreciate it. And follow me on Twitter at the Joshy P. Let's get into this, guys. So Kawhi Leonard wants out of San Antonio. And we all know where he wants to go. He wants to go to... L.A., preferably the Lakers. So they obviously have the upper hand in trade talks because they know he wants to go there. However, I've heard that San Antonio wants to keep him out of the West, which, you know, that makes sense. You don't want to trade your best player to a team that you're going to be competing with more than a team in the East, as well as the playoffs, how that would factor in. Um, yeah, you might see him in the finals if you trade him to the East, but you don't have to get past him to make it to the finals. So for me, if I want the Sixers to be interested, now don't get me wrong here, Kawhi Leonard, when healthy, is a top five NBA player. He's a finals MVP, and I definitely am interested. I want Kawhi Leonard on my team. The okay, my, 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 my cam froze for a second, but we're good. Um, the only thing that makes me a bit skeptical is last season and him not wanting to come back to the team and really just confused the shit out of me as to why he would not come back and play basketball. Like, yeah, he was injured, but at the same time, uh, apparently he was cleared. I don't really know. It was a very weird situation, but that whole situation last season makes me skeptical for years to come. So what do I need for the Sixers to get Kawhi? I need for him to restructure or re-sign his deal or do something. I need him to extend his current contract because I am not overpaying for a one-year rental. I do not want the Sixers to give up a bunch of assets for a player who is just going to leave next year. Granted, you get him for this year that... I think the Sixers are already in contention to make uh, the finals. I think that definitely puts you above and beyond the competition. Maybe not Boston. Boston's probably your biggest competition at that point and wherever LeBron happens to land. And it definitely doesn't get the Sixers past the Warriors if they just get Kawhi, especially with what they'll have to give up to get him. But you definitely want to do that, especially if he re-signs a contract or extends his contract. Now, is he a fit for this team? He is exactly what the Sixers need. He's 3 and D. He, he shoots the ball really well. He attacks the basket. He, he is a guy you can give the ball to in the fourth quarter, ISO up, and just score. I mean, pure scorer, and he plays great defense. So he is absolutely what this team needs. Now, what do you need to give up to get Kawhi Leonard? What is the package the Sixers would have to offer to get Kawhi Leonard and outbid, um, apparently, Boston? Uh, the Lakers, I think Cleveland, and a few, maybe maybe that's it, and the Sixers. Were, I think there was four teams, four to six teams that were offering trades for Kawhi already. I don't think you see him moved until free agency starts, at least, um, or maybe not at all. If he gets moved, I think it'll be sooner rather than later, but might not be at all. So what does the package look like? In my opinion, and what I've heard a bunch of people talk about is that you're going to need to give up Robert Covington, Dario Sharich, Markel Fultz, and the Miami 2021 first. 
no thank you for me personally. That is a no thank you. If it, but I'll, I'll talk about it later. The only way I'd be able to do that is if something else were to happen. But if it's just for Kawhi, that's all you're getting is Kawhi Leonard. No thank you for me. That 2021 first from Miami is really, 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 really valuable because that could possibly be the first year that the seniors in high school will be entering the draft. So it's essentially like having two freshman classes. Now, granted, those seniors from high school are going to be a little less polished than the guys that are that are uh, freshmen in college. But a year difference really isn't that big of a deal. Like that basically be like R.J. Barrett, Zion Williams, Williamson and Cam Reddish entering the NBA next no this year that would have been like if they were entering the NBA this year and you could you'd want Zion on your team like come on um that's too much for me plus I am definitely not one of the people that is willing to give up on Markel Fultz yet I think the shot will be there next year and the, you don't just fuck around and put up a triple double like that doesn't just happen so I mean he can play he's a good good incredible ball handler I think he plays marginal defense and he's like good in the open court like he can drive to the basket he just needs to work on his shot and he'll be good Dario I think Fultz can be all-star caliber actually Dario is very good role player he was a starter for most of the season and I think he can be a serviceable starter if not a one of the best backup fours in the league um, he just needs to work on his defense a little bit. He's not a great defender, but he does everything on offense. He does exactly what you need him to do on offense. Um, some some bad turnovers here and there, but I really like Dario Sharch. And then Robert Covington is prototypical 3 and D wing. Um, granted, the three-point shot isn't always there, but, I mean, the man plays some elite defense. I think he was all-defensive first team this year. I think. I could be wrong, but I think he was all-defensive first team. So... That package, that four-piece package for Kawhi is not enough or is too much for me personally. Unless, if you get Kawhi Leonard, does that entice LeBron James to come to the Sixers if he's not already going to come? I think the Sixers have a pretty good shot at landing LeBron this free agency. We'll know in five days um, on Monday. But... For me, this trade would be contingent on can we get LeBron James. Does trading for Kawhi Leonard push us over the top to get LeBron? Now, LeBron and Ben Simmons are close. LeBron and, and Joel Embiid are semi-close, I think. Um, Simmons and LeBron share the same agent. Um, they work out together. They do various things. And I think that that relationship between Ben and LeBron is really good and really strong and could potentially entice him to come to Philadelphia. But does training for Kawhi push you over the top, get you past those relationships with the agent and everything workouts? Does Kawhi really make you the best option for LeBron? And I think it does. I mean, LeBron's going to do what LeBron wants to do. LeBron's going to play wherever he wants to play. He talked about him wanting to go where where it was best for his family to go and his friends. And LeBron is going to do what LeBron wants to do. But I want LeBron on the Sixers because he makes him an instant title contender, makes them an instant title contender. So that's why I want LeBron. And Kawhi makes them a contender as well, but they can't compete with the Warriors. If they make it to the finals, they can't compete with the Warriors. No one can unless you get LeBron and Kawhi. I think a big four of LeBron, Kawhi, Embiid, and Ben Simmons could definitely compete with KD, Curry, Clay, and Dre. Like, all right, Simmons, not a three-point shooter yet, but very, 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 very good point guard. I think he can definitely D up Steph, right? Then you have Embiid. Well, he's a center. They don't really have a center in their big four, but Embiid can just take over a game in the post, and the Warriors really don't have a great center. And then I think LeBron over KD is a no-brainer, and then Kawhi over Dre and Clay easily, like whoever he matches up against, Kawhi over one of them. So you're winning like two to three matchups there if you have a decent bench. And that's, the, that's another reason I don't really like this Kawhi trade that much is because Dario, Fultz, and Covington are key, key pieces. Um, sometimes they play from the bench, like like Dario and Fultz sometimes play from the bench. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know if I'd be willing to give that up. But please let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd be for it if it if we can get LeBron as well. So that's that's what I think. Talk to me on Twitter at the Joshy P. Talk to me in the comments below. Subscribe, leave a like, guys. Thank you for all the support on the videos lately. I know I haven't been uploading that much. Um, I said I was going to be uploading more, and you might see it with free agency coming up here. Um, maybe talking about some Eagles stuff. But thank you guys for watching the video. My name is Josh P. See you guys in the next one. Peace.